So then the next question I had for you is what you've just covered a bit of, which is what is the genesis of the US um, weaponized drones and how has that developed and how quickly has that developed? Like where have we come to from 2004 to 2017? So 2004, interestingly enough, the, the, the program to weaponize drones was called Big Safari. Uh, if you want to kind of go into like the maybe the mindset that these people had, it was like akin to big big game hunting. Um, you can read books out there; they're they're relatively recent where they're talking, you know, about doing this. And the entire time they're uh, they're comparing it to uh, going after big game and uh, and whatnot. And in my opinion, that kind of skews the well, it, it separates the, the person from their own humanity, um, from actually viewing these people on the ground as human beings. Um, you know, there's, there's uh, others who've spoken who said that uh, they had to remind themselves that they were humans. You shouldn't have to remind yourself that, that people are humans, especially if you're, you're not in harm's way and you're not having to like, you know, protect yourself and the people next to you uh, so where it's sort of evolved is that it's become more and more automated um, it's become the, the the imagery quality has gotten better uh, the satellites have upgraded so they're able to um, deal with more bang, bandwidth um, and the uh, quote unquote enemy has has evolved and gotten more more intelligent about things. They've found ways to uh, to to foil the sensors. Uh, and yeah, so uh, and they're becoming more networked and they're becoming more autonomous, so to speak. Uh, and that happens incrementally over time it doesn't it's not just like today they're today they're you know remote control airplanes tomorrow they're flying killer robots i mean um there's the the element of people using it for uh capturing uh with with special forces uh components on the ground i you know for as much as like i'm i'm against the uh the war on terror like as a tool for that, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing, um, but I definitely think we need to take the weapons off. 